Hello everybody, this is Matador from FreeTradingVideos.com. It's still March 30th, about 12.10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Some great market action in the SPY, the Spiders, the ETF for the S&P 500. So after a little bit of a run-up and a pullback right to support, which was the close of yesterday's aftermarket hours, we had a series of higher swing lows, lower swing highs, forming a perfect symmetrical triangle. This ended up resolving to the downside just below our 117.50 mark. Uh, and we're now testing again the 117 area. So just as before, uh, that 117 area becomes a significant one. On the way back up, good 50% retracement of these Fibonacci's. And uh, I'll grab that line and show you what I'm looking at. From the top to the bottom. And look where we are. We can just drop a horizontal line right at the 50 yard line. If you drop it from where people started getting hurt. That's good. If you drop it from the very high of this line, we're right around the 50-yard line. So again, talking about it as an area instead of an absolute keeps us out of trouble. It's a beautiful consolidation intraday right at where it started uh, stalling out again. So good stuff here at the 117.20 mark. Higher time frame. You can see that that's also uh, hitting its head on the 200 MA on the 15-minute chart. Again, about half of that large uh, red line. Not the biggest volume I've ever seen on a print like this, but still something to note. And on a higher time frame, it even becomes less significant as we're holding up at the 50 MA on a 60 minute chart. And on a higher time frame, again, we're getting exactly what we wanted, which is a consolidation. So good stuff. Looking at that, Apple um, hit a, a very good high with the news that the iPhone is going to start using Verizon potentially. And uh, that's helping those shares. But again, after a gap up like this, a lot of people taking profits. Not as many new buyers jumping in, so things are holding up here. So watch out, again, if you're messing around with Apple right now on this up gap after a few bars up in a row. So good stuff, everybody. Hope your intraday work is going well. Just to help shore that up a bit, let's take a look at what the VIX is doing. Intraday. It's been rising steadily and then making a higher swing low. So again, be careful how you are trading long into this environment until we get past resistance and the trend queue. Excuse me, the trend is at 1.45, also bearish, spending most of the day, uh, all the day in the bearish area. So that's confirming. Trend Q should be interesting with Apple announcing. And one nice drop off. All right, so never making it back into the legitimate bullish zone and also bearish. So this is an interesting environment to be trying to trade long into uh, with a bunch of overhead resistance. I would drop a significant line right through here. That's a big one on the way back up. Uh, this is symmetrical triangle failure at 117.50. Again, all the numbers we marked before holding up well as resistance and support. So like that, hope everybody's afternoon goes well and stay tuned for D7's video at the close.